Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So May is over, we're starting into the real real summer month, June, and we do it like always. I'll show you what I got, I will talk about what I will get, and then we talk about random random shit. So I'm filming on a different camera, so I can't really see what I'm filming, but hopefully it will be good. <laughs> Because my dad took the other one with him on vacation, so yeah. So, I think let's start with albums. And of course, if you can see well, this month was oh my god, comeback month, and really, really excited. I bought this straight from Korea, and the photo cards you will have seen in the video, or I will, I think I will make another video next month where I put the cards in my binder but I got Arin and Yua's card and yeah really really cute and so, oh, I'm so happy that I finally have them and while we are at oh my girl <laughs> let's talk about this card so I say that I don't collect oh my girl and I mean that I don't collect oh my girl but sometimes when I see like photo cards I'm like ah oh, I need to buy it so I found this Young card. This is from, I think, Pink Ocean. I am not 100% sure, but let me check. But I saw this on eBay and I was like, yeah, this is like 7 euros. And that's totally fine price. But when you think about it, the album is out of press. So the card is out of press. And I have a, like, I had a, I rearranged my photo cards a little bit because something changed in my binder. <laughs> I will talk about that later. But then I had a free spot and I was like, yeah, Hyo Young is kind of my bias, kind of not because I don't have biases. But when I saw the card, then, um, oh, the dog is moving. Yeah, if you hear noises in the background, it's the dog. And yeah, now she's with her paws, she's in the kitchen and drinking something. But yeah, that's something fun. She can do whatever she wants, but yeah, so I saw this and I was like, ah, it's so like a bidding auction and I was like, wouldn't hurt like buying it. So yeah, I bought it and I'm really, really happy that I did and I'm just checking and I don't know if, I think it's not from Pink Ocean, but from Windy Day. I have to see. Let me check. I can't memorize everything. And this seems to be the angel wing. Oh, sorry, it takes so long. Yeah, I think it's from Windy Day, the repackage. Yeah, it's from Windy Day repackage. So that's cool. So kind of slowly getting my Oh My Girl collection together, but I don't think I will like ever, ever finish it because I would like consider myself a random collector. <laughs> when I see stuff, I buy them. But yeah, I was really happy that I found it. And I'm always like on eBay client tagging and eBay like looking for Oh My Girl stuff that I don't have. And I'm like, ah. So yeah, and the next item, let me just have my phone here so I know where I have to put stuff, is keep spinning. So I finally got my DVD. I bought this from Neo Tokyo. This is an online site here in Germany because the great, great thing is that you only have to pay when it arrives at your house. So you can buy like stuff and it arrives two months later and you haven't had to pay it, but you pre-order it, so that's great. And yeah, because I didn't want to buy something like this only from Korea and in the package because I didn't have anything else to buy it with. But because of Corona, it took a lot of longer because, you know, borders are closed and luckily, I have to say, I only use UPS Express Mail for everything that I order from Korea because DHL, that is mostly my country, uh, is not accepting stuff from Korea, so I don't have any other choice. If I want to buy something, I have to buy it through uh, UPS. But I have to say, it isn't that expensive than I thought because we just bought some birthday presents and I bought also the Blu-ray version of this and some day six albums and I think, but it's, it's cheap because we are like splitting it up between people, but nonetheless, it wasn't that expensive, like 36 bucks and that's totally fine. And so far everything has come really fast and without any issues. And my, the funny thing is one of my GOT7 packages uh, got stuck in custom. 
the other one didn't but yeah <laughs> so it's totally random because i think they were sent the same day so yeah but i finally got this i got the jackson card in it and maybe i i don't haven't thought about if i should collect it i don't think i will because just the Korean cards, I have so much to do with it. And yeah, so I'm, I have started and I'm searching for Jin Young to trade it for. So maybe I will find it, maybe not. I haven't seen one yet, so that is that. Let's just look at it. So things that I have bought. I have bought, of course, the Sixes album. And I think it will take quite a while. And I have bought the Blu-ray version from this. And yeah, that's, I think that's all I bought for myself. I bought, of course, a ton of birthday presents, but you will, you will never see that. But yeah, I think that's, that's everything I have bought. And why, when I talked about how stuff changed in my brain, I become more onto the random, random sh uh, shit talk talk. But so I have decided to sell my TXT album. I already sold it, so it's already gone. <laughs> And I decided to sell my Strikers collection. And I did make a separate video about it where I talk about it a little more. But I did the video in German, so I think it will take a little longer because I got some requests like talking more in German because I did one random German video in the beginning of my channel. And most of you don't, guys don't know it, but I'm German. I live in Germany, so I'm like a German K popper, <laughs> if you want to call that. But a lot of people don't know that there are like German K-pop channels out there because I only knew one, but she isn't uploaded videos anymore for years. So all the others are either in America, Canada, UK, France. So yeah, <laughs> I thought about like doing more German videos, but it's so much more easy for me to talk in English because my, mo my main demographic is America, then comes Malaysia, then comes Philippines, and then comes Germany, <laughs> and then comes UK. So maybe I will do like random videos in German and do of course English subtitles that you know, but that of course takes me a really long time because it's really hard work to do all the subtitles. So yeah, but basically what I was talking about is that I still love Stray Kids, I still like their music, but for me, sometimes I don't feel the urge to collect them. It began when I ordered the photo book and I already sold it like a week after that because I didn't fall in love with the photo book. And I think that's also an honest approach to collecting K-pop. You don't have to buy everything or approve of everything your favorite group does just because you love them. And I think if you are a true, true fan, you will always like have also another eye on it, like more critiquing. And for me, it was like I wasn't seeing like me like growing my collection with Stray Kids stuff, and I was just like many other people would like have this in their collection, appreciate more than me. And of course, through the money that I make with that, I can buy more God Seven stuff, and that's my main focus: collecting God Seven and with all my cards I have still missing. I think that's a really smart choice, and I think. I myself, I go through my collection and I think about if I should keep it or if I should sell it. And sometimes stuff you buy because you buy it, you know, it's like, oh my god, my collection there, yeah, you know, I buy the album, I buy this. And then you like, maybe a month after that, you realize you don't really need it. And it's just like sitting there and it's sad, you know, it's the same with clothes. You buy stuff, it looks so pretty online, it looks so good. And then you use it and you was like, yeah, it's okay. And then a month after you think like, why... Is do I still have this? I could sell it, you know? And that's, I take the same approach with K-pop. And I was at that point, I was like, nope, Stray Kids, collecting Stray Kids is not doing it for me anymore. And I still love their music and I still support them through like Spotify and stuff. And yeah, it's just a money thing also, you know, if you don't feel joy buying stuff, then you shouldn't do it because it's just a waste of money. You could spend the money so much more. and. Especially in the corona times where you maybe some of you have maybe lost your job Maybe you have like significant like wage losses for me. It's like I earn Like 50% less than I did before corona because I babysit for a living and I make a really good living with that so I can Support myself and I buy all my k-pop stuff myself and all the stuff and they're expensive You know you have to like earn a couple quits a month because otherwise you will never 
like be able to live the lifestyle that I do. And I made the choice to live that lifestyle, but for to like maintain the lifestyle, I have to like earn money. Otherwise, I will not able to support myself. And luckily, I still earn money that I can still buy stuff. But it, I have, I have to be careful. I have to think about if I should make the purchase or not. If I like, maybe I sell something. I can buy something. So yeah, that's my approach and how I do this. And yeah, it's just, it's just sometimes you have to let go of stuff to see other stuff come in. And it was just the time for me. And yeah, but that's all new. So it's not really like happening anything. <laughs> I saw that with drama posted, I don't know if it's still on there. Maybe I should look. That they are like reselling, uh, how do you say it? The fan merch from the fan meeting merch from God7. And I was so tempted to buying it because they had the bracelets, but the bracelets were like 60 quid. And I was like, I don't really like bracelets. It's the same like mentality. If I should buy it for the like collection value because it's pretty, or do I really use it? Because I'm not like a fan of um, bracelets, rings, earrings. Uh, it's kind of okay. Necklaces, yeah, it goes, but. Yeah, the merch is still on there, of course, something sold out, but I was like thinking about the cards and I was like, then I have to pay like the expensive shipping, if it's really worth it, and yeah, I decided not to, but yeah, I bought clothes instead, <laughs> because summer is coming and I need some clothes, so yeah, but that's everything that's new, and yeah, we will see, so... <laughs> I'm kind of done with comebacks, like BTS had their comebacks, okay, maybe they will have another one, but it takes more months for that to finish. Got seven, oh my girl, day six, Stray Kids all are done now, and I'm like, maybe I could like, f like fit uh, my focus on like collecting cards, but every time I think that, something else is coming out, you know, it's just, it's just crazy. But yeah, maybe I'll watch this, but I'm meeting my friend. Next week, we haven't seen each other, yeah, for a month, you know. But because I had corona, I don't really care if people come or not because I'm immune <laughs> and we are a small group and I'm so happy that I can finally give one of the persons her birthday presents <laughs> because I have like a pile, I feel like a K-pop shop because I have a box with so many albums in there that are just waiting to go to persons who have ordered them with me or who have like had birthdays and we have bought like collectively presents and yeah <laughs> so yeah before but before i ramble too much that is the end of may that's how my collection looks like really excited for that and maybe i will wait for a few more cards to do like a binder video and yeah next month it is the time again i will do a binder video and this time it's more interesting because so much has changed and hopefully you all turn in so yeah if you have enjoyed my content please follow me down below ring the bell icon otherwise you will not know when i upload a video and that will be a shame instagram is also linked down below and yeah i will see you in my next video bye